What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Dan, this is Neo Mustangs, and this is my Fox Body channel. If you like installation videos, if you like test drive videos, if you like the track videos, and you like us showing you how much power it makes in a dyno all in the same video, you're gonna wanna stick around and watch this. Let's just get right into it. So me and cousin Paul are gonna show you uh, what we did. As you can see, we went ahead and replaced it with the polys in here. And we ended up putting the subframe connectors on, which I think is a huge upgrade for this car. I like, they're nice and thick and strong. And plus they bolt to my, uh, my seat. To be honest with you, when we put these subframes in, they, uh, they went right in. I mean, they were already touching the frames. That tells me that the, the car wasn't tweaked bad at all. So, I mean, they were touching the torque box and they were perfectly formed. As you can see, they got like a little bend in them from the way they're made. So we're super excited to get this thing ready. And with the combined with the control arms and the bushings and the subframe connectors and the new motor mounts, and we already had the poly bushing here. I'm pretty confident this car's gonna hook pretty hard. And it's gonna be nice and tight. So we're getting here started on the car. We got the upper end takeoff. So what we plan on doing is we got to pull the distributor, pull the valve covers again, take the rockers off and all the push rods. And we're going to pull the lifters. It only makes sense to pull all that stuff out now because we're going to be changing the intake anyways. So what we decided to run with is the trick flow replacements. We're going to start digging into it. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time showing you guys, you know, the, the, the rebuild and putting it back together. But we do have the upper that Cousin Fred's cleaning up right now. We'll get the lower set up and we're just gonna kind of move right on. If you're just joining us and you're just new to the Fox Body channel and you don't know a lot about Fox Body, pulling the stock intake off of this stock motor and we're replacing it with other stock motor parts. The GT40 intake obviously is a little bit of an upgrade compared to the factory intake. And this is a common part that you can find on 96 to 01 Explorer 5.0s and 97 to 01 Mercury Mountaineers that were 5.0s as well. You can see the differences. This is the stock one and the ports are a little smaller. And here's a couple lowers that I got. The ports are a little bit bigger. Just the design of it's just better. It flows a little bit better air. It's not as restrictive. You can always tell by the design, the lines and the way it looks and the contour of it. You can kind of spot these out pretty well because they look pretty unique or whatever. So, so we got most of the uh, engine apart as far as the upper part of the intake. We're going to clean these surfaces out a little bit. We're going to drop our lifters in and our dog bone retainer. And then we're going to keep working at it and get this intake set up because we got to put some of the sensors and the fuel rails and all that stuff, which just bolt right onto it onto the lower so stay tuned so one thing i did want to show you we took this plate off because it's pretty much unnecessary to have it anyways but you know there's a little screen that goes right here that keeps oil from coming up but look how much garbage is underneath here now i gotta go in and clean all this out it's not really a bad idea to do that at this point if you're gonna install a gt40 intake but you definitely want to not forget to put the little screen in because this keeps the oil from coming up all right, so here's the basic setup. We stripped the Fox intake and you can see everything fits on the GT40. And a lot of you guys already know this, but some of you guys that are new to Fox body stuff, this, like everything goes on. Don't mind the plug because what we did was we mismatched. We had a GT40 lower EGR style GT40 intake, but we had an upper style that was cleaned and powder coated ready to go, so. This is what we did with this. You know, it's got this gap here on the EGR ones. This thing's full and it's got the hole, but everything fits. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing on the car. We're gonna get the lifters in. We're gonna get the dog bone retainer in and we're gonna get the push rods, set the valves, get the lower intake back on and pretty much get this thing ready. So here you have it. it. Took us about a good portion of half the day, but we got it all in there. Everything's ready to go. We're about to take it and we're gonna turn it over for about 30 seconds. It'll let the oil prime a little bit and then we'll put the coil on and we'll fire it. Y'all ready to hear it fire? Let's go. Get primed up and it'll run better and better. All right, we did a whole bunch of work to it. Suspension, motor mounts, sub 
frame connectors, with the GT40 intake on it. Let's hit the dyno. Got a little dyno date going on. Let's go see how much horsepower this thing makes now. All right, so we made it back here to TI Dyno. Twisted Innovations is cranking automotive. So we're gonna get ready to put this thing back on the dyno. So we're gonna get you another horsepower rating and see how much a GT40 intake makes over the stock intake that we had on here last time. So uh, stay tuned, we're gonna get this thing strapped down and we're gonna get things started. All right, we got everything strapped down. I'm here with the, the Irishman, Kevin Cragen. Say hello to YouTube again. Everybody hey. loves you, everybody loves you. Not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the mad scientist, smart Dave. <laughs> you can see some of the stuff he does. We're gonna spin this two times on the dyno. One, we're gonna make power up to 6,400, 6,200 and see how much boost we make. And the second run's gonna be naturally aspirated. And if you're just joining us and you just fast forwarded, the last time we were here, we made 325 horsepower with just the stock intake. So the only things that we've changed outside of the actual suspension parts is the stock intake to GT40. So let's see how much more power it makes and then we'll see how much more power it makes NA and I'll talk to you about it after. Is this thing on? Uh, that thing was fair. I got some ideas on why that didn't pick up even more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the uh, pipe off and we're gonna see what it made NA. So as you can see, I went ahead and took the pipe off, which is the charge pipe. This is a speed density car, so I can do that and just run straight from the throttle body. We went ahead and disconnected the supercharger pulley as well. We didn't want to bring any unnecessary drag on an NA pull. So let's go see how much it makes NA so we could add that to our equivalent. Like I said, it should pick up a little bit better NA because of the 19s and the rockers and the, and the valve springs. So it did pick up some horsepower. But consider the fact that it's made 235, 300, which was on the map before. With the valve springs, the rockers, and putting the GT40 intake on, probably netted me about 20 horsepower over stock. You add like uh, GT40 heads with the uh, intake, you'll see a significant increase in power. And then you start adding the camshafts, you start adding long tube headers. Naturally, Old Blue here could probably make an easy 350 wheel, but when it sits, 
if I was to add long tube headers and GT40 intake or head is you can't just throw parts of something and expect it to make more power. Now, did our experiment work? Absolutely. Dad's car makes more power with a GT40 intake. End of story. How much more horsepower? Well, this is a Mustang dyno and we all know what Mustang dynos are all about. They're a little bit greedy, but it makes good power. It makes 330 wheel, made about 10 more horsepower than it did before-ish. So now that we know it makes more power, let's go ahead and get to the track. Let's go make some hits. Um, go see if it actually, if I can run my 1190 pass. Let's go. All right, boys, I'm late for the track by about an hour or so. So we're gonna get out here to Thompson Drag Raceway. We're gonna get the car unloaded because I still have time to make a hit within the next hour and see how fast this car goes. See if our subframe connectors, we're gonna see if our control arms and all these parts that I've been putting on one at a time kind of mesh and mingo. Stay tuned because we're gonna go quick. As soon as I get there to Thompson Drag Raceway, I'm gonna get lined up so I can make a hit. It's gonna be nice and cold, so should have a good pass. We'll see what happens. Let's go get it. Well, there you have it folks i'm pleased to inform you that i have now ran an 1190 with dad's old blue car here i'll show you the slip or let me go ahead and show you the slip i didn't run against anybody but had a 155 60 foot one it ran an 1196 at 114. so what's that tell you not only did the gt40 intake make more power but the all the suspension stuff that we had been doing to the car started to work at some point like you see in the dyno the car's not going to really make a lot more power than it could with the gt40 and all of its extra mods like the valve springs and the rockers because it's just out of fuel guys and with a little bit of tuning i could make that number higher so what's next what we have to do to make any more power with dad's car is to convert it to mass air that's pretty much it at that point we'll be getting the quarter horse ready we'll be getting the a9l ready we have extra for the car and that uh, mass air and the engine harness switching it over or converting it which could be for a whole nother series of videos but i'm not going to stick gt40 heads on this now at this point without doing those mods first because keep in mind guys we just ran an 1190s with 19 pound injectors anyways i appreciate everybody for watching it if you like my Fox Body content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Hit that bell for notification. I want to send a special shout out to all my club membership guys. I appreciate the support with the channel. Thank you for everything. See you soon.